Who wants to be a millionaire? I suppose everyone. Maybe I'm wrong. Do you want to be a millionaire? Being a millionaire comes with a lot of privileges. You can fly first class to wherever you want, visit any country, and eat whatever you want. Becoming a millionaire can change your life. However, it is essential to understand that it is easier to become a millionaire than to stay a millionaire. When you eventually become one, maintain the same habits you had when you were not. If you suddenly change, the chances are that your mindset too will change. You can end up squandering all your fortune. In this video, I'm going to share with you 13 steps to becoming a millionaire. 1. Create a long-term financial goal. This is non-negotiable. You need a financial goal. If you don't have one, you will burn out. There is truly no limit to what a man can own. Having a goal can help you coordinate your plans around an immediate target. You can just plan as you go. A financial goal will also help you with motivation for when it gets tough. Sometimes, when you have gone so far, it makes sense to only keep going forward. A financial goal can help you with this. You need to be very specific. If you want to be $5 million rich, what's the plan? Do you have a job? What are you currently earning? Do you have a business? Having a financial plan will not help you figure out all the answers, but it will at least help you ask the right questions. Questions lead to reflection, and reflections lead to ideas and then solutions. 2. Start savings This is probably still news, but still, you need one. Remember how you used to spend everything before the next paycheck before you decided you want to be rich? That has to end. You cannot achieve financial freedom without working on your goals gradually. You need assets. Assets require money to buy. How do you get the money? Even if you take a loan, what if you lose your job? Did you anticipate COVID-19? As much as you can take lips of faith, it is important to plan ahead. Your creditor is not going to wait for your faith to pay off. You can start small. It doesn't have to be up to 15% of your earnings. If you have as many responsibilities as I do, I'm sure that will be a considerable chunk. You can start with as low as 5% or 10% if you can manage it. Be intentional about it. Do not save to spend. Save to invest. Remind yourself that your money will work for you and not the other way around. 3. Improve your skills. Your skill set can make all the difference. When you have more skills, you're more useful to a prospective employer. These days, no one really cares for degrees. According to Donald J. Trump, the current president of the United States of America, in June, the United States' new hiring order will focus on job skills over college degrees. This is the new reality these days. If you don't know how to use a computer, you may never actually get a job. The problem really isn't that there is no job. The problem is that most people don't qualify for the roles they keep applying for. If you want a financial, you should probably have a college degree and a good interest in stock markets, trading, investments, and assets. You may also have a working knowledge of Excel and PowerPoint. Everyone needs to start somewhere. Some have spent decades of their lives trying to grow a business from scratch, while they could have worked for four months and started with income enough to cover expenses for a year while they experiment. Be bold but smart. No one really cares about your struggles. They have struggles of their own. They care about your success and how it can motivate them to succeed as well. Improving your skills can allow you to have access to better jobs. A certified project manager is paid better than a graduate of management. You need to update yourself. The more skills you have, the better you can handle your businesses as well. 4. Read books on financial management I know you don't like the sound of that, but yes, I said it. You can't avoid it. Not if you want to be a millionaire. You could start with self-help books written by authors who have successfully become millionaires themselves. You need to understand that if you don't understand money enough, it can ruin you. Many have taken loans to expand their business with significant losses and retired into poverty. You need a mental transformation, and this only comes through intensive reading. When you start reading any of them, you commit to doing better. It is your life and future on the line. What you do now will determine a lot of things for you. Books are very educational. You will be surprised by the type of people you can connect with because you have read a similar book. 5. Associate with the right people There are always good friends, bad friends, and friends that are just there. You don't need all of them in your life. If you have decided you want to be a millionaire, have all your friends decided. If your answer is no, you should probably hang out with other people who have decided. The journey to financial freedom is a tasking one. People with feeble minds really cannot keep up. You need courageous people who are willing to try out ideas even if they fail and learn useful lessons for the future. The people you relate with influence you a lot. You don't want to spend time with people who don't share your ideals. They likely will not understand what you are going through. Only people who have lost $100,000 through investment can relate to someone who just lost it. 
only such people too are likely to offer any useful advice. 6. Create value The strategy to become a millionaire will invariably involve creating value. Wealthy people are those who create value. Take a good look at all the successful people you know. Why are they rich? You will realize that many of them have created a product or service that solves problems for people daily. When you solve people's problems, they will pay you for it and then you can become rich. The problem doesn't have to be big. It just has to be a problem. Refine your idea. Don't assume that what you perceive as a problem, that other people perceive it as a problem. People will shock you sometimes if you actually try to ask them what they think. 7. Live below your income How much do you currently earn? Before now, how much were you earning? Has anything really changed about you since your new job? You're still the same. The only thing that changed was your appetite for better things that you can now afford. This will not help you become rich. You need to understand that becoming a millionaire is not a lottery. You can't hope to get a job that will pay you millions overnight. People do get such jobs, but most of them have to put in the years of hard work to get there. Such jobs hardly come by chance. With what you have though, you can start building. 8. Create multiple streams of income. Do not rely on your salary alone every month. Your salary may be great, but it might still not be enough. Think about what could happen if you lost your job suddenly. How then would you cater to all your needs? If you want to be a millionaire, you need to have at least three sources of income. This can come from different assets you have acquired over time. 9. Avoid debts that don't pay you. Do not take a loan if you don't intend to use it for a business venture or buy an asset. Loans are supposed to finance enterprise. Choosing to take loans to fund your lifestyle can be a bit problematic. 10. Start a business. Once you discover the problem you want to solve, you can enterprise around it. This enterprise will then transfer the value down to your customers. Starting a business can be a great way to position for wealth. You can grow alongside your business. Over time, you get better at delivering value to your customers. 11. Treat money as a tool. You are in charge. Don't forget that. Money is merely a tool. You are to use it for your purpose. The moment you forget that, you will start working for money. You will become its slave. The things you can spend money on is limitless, but you can choose what and when. 12. Don't accept that it's okay to lack some things. Poor people always want to manage. They do not have an abundance mindset and therefore attract lack. People who are millionaires live in abundance and attract abundance. They do not believe it is okay to lack anything. 13. Staying positive. You need every bit of positivity you can get on your journey to financial freedom. You need to continually remind yourself that you have what it takes to excel. Keep at it and you would become rich in the end.